What's up, guys? Erroneous here, back with another Raid Shadow Legends video. This is going to be episode two of the Ostrid Fragment Summon Champion, which is this one right here. I usually do more videos um, in terms of episodes for these fusions or champions that we summon with from fragments, but the issue is I've just been really busy, so I haven't been able to be consistent with the videos being output, so I do apologize for that. But in terms of today's video, it's going to be a shard pulling video. We're going to be pulling just some sacreds to make sure we get the right amount of fragments for the fusion. So currently I haven't missed any fragments throughout the entire fusion. And from my previous video, I did explain that you can miss up to 10 fragments. So I was honestly thinking that dungeon divers here, this, I think this is a third dungeon divers would only have would would actually have 10 fragments, but it only has five fragments, which I'm extremely surprised about. So. I could skip out this entirely. I mean, I'm going to be getting Dungeon Divers complete over time anyways, while I'm completing the Ice Golem and the Champion Training event that's going on right now. And then I realized, you know, Ice Golem, the tournament here, this one has five fragments as well. So that could be 10 fragments in total. If I just wanted to focus on champ training and just farm spider and get some more silver, obviously I'm going to farm some Ice Golem because I do think that the mortal coins here the gems and the fry fragments and even potentially the epic book is useful on anybody's account so i'm gonna push that still classic arena should be extremely easy for anybody again this is the easiest one for everybody and then in terms of the events dungeon divers is going on i just showed you champion training we have a day and 19 hours left and let's see i'll definitely get this i'm most definitely going to get the five fragments and then I'll probably shoot for the Immortal Soul Coins. If I can go a little bit further along the way, yes, I'll try for the Primal, but I don't usually push that hard here. The reason why is I just don't pull enough shards to have enough champions, and then I don't have enough brews sometimes saved, or I save my brews. So right now I'm in a, around 200 for every brew type besides magic, because I do have tons of magic champions as compared to the other ones. But... In general, I don't go ham on champ training. Once in a while, I will. I'll get the max reward, and then I'll, you know, dip out of there. But today's video is about summon rush. So in terms of summon rush here, we do have to go... I'm probably just going to go all the way to the 3150, or at least 3000, and just pull six sacreds. So six sacreds should get us out there. I have nine sacreds right now. I have 122 ancients saved since our last 2x. I think I pulled 51 ancients. And then I've saved up a ton since then, which was only about a week or week or so ago. And then voids, I'm at 58. And ancients, I just kept on getting ancients from Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss, um, you know, dungeons along the way, and also from events and tournaments that you can just pick up ancient shards along the way. So ancients are really easy to save up. Now, in terms of sacreds, I have not been getting lucky with sacred drops from the Nightmare and Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. At least three of these sacreds or four are from Doom Tower and from logging in or completing the quest rather. So, you know, we're not too, too fussed about it, but I wish I saved a little bit more sacreds here. So let's do this. We're going to pull. Hopefully we can get something good. I'm really hoping for a Harima or maybe the, the new guy Falmond here. He's obviously super strong, but Harima, Falmond, or even Kaimar is what I want on the account. If I don't get those champions, then I'm hoping for a duplicate of Samson, Foley, or other. So let's see what we can do here. We're going to get started here. Let's do this. Hop off. Come on. Let's get lucky. Oh, right off the bat, we starting off strong. We did get a long beard. This is a new champion on the account. So that's brand new. Skinwalker guy. I don't have them. I was honestly hoping for someone different. I think I was eight sacreds in since the last legendary. So it is what it is. All right, let's keep going here. Let's pull another one here. One legendary in the books. Can we get some more Legos? Let's see. Probably not, but that was, you know, that refreshed my mercy here. So that's one so far. Probably not going to get another one, but who knows? Maybe we will. Ooh, that was close. I thought that was going to be it. This guy, Hitatsu, is really strong. Uh, the Doom Priest was also really strong for Epic Champions. So that's number three. This is number four. Okay, another Epic. Oh, jeez. Okay. Umatogi. I've never personally used her. I heard she hits somewhat hard, but not that crazy. 
crit rate in all battles is okay. All right, keep going. One more epic. Okay, this guy was for the Makage Fusion. I already took her out though, of course. Last one here. Come on, legendary. Another epic. All right, so we ended up pulling six. We got Alaric the Hooded. He's a okay champion. Good for faction wars okay for general progression but not that strong this is a four turn cooldown on the decrease attack and decrease accuracy i wish it was a three turn he would be a lot better especially for um normal hydra or hard hydra decrease attack and decrease accuracy is pretty beneficial for there and then he doesn't hit super hard but um you know like i said decrease accuracy is strong because then you can have less resistance and hydra so there you go there you have it we did get one legendary and then the rest were epics i should be at three thousand points Yep, there we go. And I'm just going to pull the rest in Mystery Shards, which I already started doing. So I've got 30 done, 33 or so. And then we need 100 and roughly 120. But um, yeah, we're just going to pull Mysteries for the rest of the way and be done with this for the Summon Rush. So I'll take it. I mean, I'll definitely build a Longbeard. I know he has the ally attack as well. I think he's one of the stronger ally attackers in the game. But since the introduction of makage she's kind of the one that i use mainly makage i also use what's his name lana Tharil as well personally i love lana Tharil. i think he's a great champion i think anybody should be using him i think he's in my vault though let me see it's because i didn't have tons of space so let me take a look here real quick yeah so my lana Tharil is in a reflex set going really fast as fast as possible and i do utilize him in hard fire knight in stage six so I'm just hoping to get some better champions along the way. And then I need to try to ascend or reascend this gear to get speed, HP percent. Uh, I'm looking for crit rate here. I'm going to keep this probably. And then we're looking for HP and defense in the top. But uh, his total stats are 294 speed, 66,000 HP, 3,400 on the defense. I try to go for a little bit of damage, but it's nothing to shake a stick at. Anyways, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you did get lucky yourself and pulled some legendaries. Let me know in the comments down below what you pulled, and I will see you on a video soon. Take care.